Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Last time, I showed off all the titanium bolt locations, and I showed, and I explained how to get all the skill points. Today, I'm gonna show off some of those special things with the skill points and some other little additional things. So first, one of them would be one of the first things I want to show is the mega weapons. So once you do challenge mode, you will get oh, completely forgot I need to get mega. <laughs> need to upgrade these. Whoops! I thought I had all the mega weapons, but the highest it can go to is Omega, I believe. So because of that, I'm gonna have to work extra harder. But since we're here, I gotta rearrange the select wheel. So yeah, put the Rhino there. And yeah, okay. So to demonstrate the Rhino, it'll automatically lock on targets, and then once you press circle, it'll release a few missiles to hit its targets. It's not bad, except when it gets to the max level, but I will explain later on that. So bear with me on it. Now that the Rhino's leveled up, this time it shoots different projectiles. They will instantly vaporize whatever they touch. Now that the Rhino's leveled up to level 3, the projectiles, while they'll still vaporize, they're now a little more fiery. See? They leave a bit of a fire trail. At level 4, it seems like it's no different. I can even check what it says. 16. I guess it changes the amount of projectiles it'll send. The Rhinociter, as it's called. It's a clear-all, but... It doesn't necessarily. Whoa! It doesn't necessarily work. It doesn't work on bosses, basically. It doesn't do enough j damage on bosses in challenge mode. It's still a powerful screen kill. Right now, I'm curious. Are, is there an Omega variant of this weapon? Nope. Can't get Omega versions of that weapon. And for good reason, too. So. There is some more stuff I need to show off. So, I'll meet you guys back at the Starship Phoenix. Okay, so I changed my mind. I decided to come here to Terranosis. Because it, was, it would be more appropriate for this. So. Let's try out those funny little cheats with the, let's see, big-headed heroes. Oh, we're big, we're bulbous. Time freeze. I don't know how time freeze works. I guess that's how it works. You just hold triangle and then ratchet rotates. Secret Agent Clank, that will change Clank into his Secret Agent Clank outfit, which will keep big-headed enemies. The Tyranoid's eyes are bigger as a result. Ships to ducks. Any level that has flying ships, they become flying, well, duck ships. They're similar to the weird duck mutants with your Quacko Blitz. And the mirror, mirror universe. Everything is mirror. Ooh, that messes with my eyes. Everything's mirrored. So, uh, with that, now I'll meet you guys back on the Starship Phoenix for more. 
Right, now that we're here, but wow, look at that swing. Uh, let me check this. Oh yeah, I got some cool colors set on my, um, on my ship, but... Blargian Red, Amiboy Green, Pulsing Purple, Obani Orange, Lowrider, Black Hole, Sunstorm, Bogon Blue, Orkson Green, Lombax Orange, that's a nice design, Hook on Onyx, Quark Green, Agent Orange, Helga Hughes, Space Storm, Terranoid Void, Zeldran Sunset, Ghost Pirate Purple, Sasha Scarlet, Florana Breeze, Ozzy Kamikaze, Silent Strike, Supernova, Drex Black Heart, Fitting Name, Neutron Star, Lunar Eclipse, Solar Wind, Dark Nebula, Star Traveler, Clowner, Plantastic, and of course Insomniac Special, which is the one that I have. I miss their old logo, Moon. Okay, what was the other things I wanted to show? Oh, right, so uh, in here, skins. I mean, we've seen the skins. Skill points, cinematics. So the cutscenes here are just the in game cutscenes. Yeah, you get it in the credits, but let's look at the sketchbook. I don't know how many of these there are, but... Okay, so this is Quark with Scrunch. Must be Terranosis. I don't know. The different Terranoid concepts from 1i, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Good thing we never run into 4i Terranoids. Or no, we do. Just never 5 eye. Different designs of Ratchet Ship, I presume. The Galactic Rangers. Don't know. Mama Terranoid. Must be the bases on Terranosis. The Terror of Talos. Courtney Gears. Different weapon designs. I can tell that one's the Rift Inducer. I'm not sure about the others. That one must be the Hollow Shield. Uh, a base and what looks like a tank. Why is the color like that? Must be another level base. A concept of Dr. Nefarious. And Lawrence. A tower. Captain Cork in color. The director guy of Secret Agent Clank. Floating towers, I guess. I can't really read the what's written there. A robot enemy you find on Koros. Um I take it that's it's a level, I just can't tell. Sasha, enemy robots, somewhere, Ratchet's Infernox armor, Inferno mode, and that's it, I'm pressing R2, that's it. Okay, so, oh, in the cheats, you may have noticed that one that was, um, blanked out with question marks. I'll show what that one is in a bit. First, let's go here. So, there's two codes you can do here with the vid comics. The first one that I'm going to do is on the selection screen here. If you input... Okay, if you press square, you get this. So, if you type in... Let's see... If you type in Megan, has to be spelled Meg Han, and it has to be spelled like this. 
uh, see, do that and. Oh, this was too, this was too soon. I didn't get to, I didn't read all that. That's the Insomniac Museum, but we'll explore it in the next episode. Okay, well, press and start will take you back out, so at least we got a glimpse at it. The other one, if you type in the other, will actually take you to the museum to play another minigame, which I guess I'll show. Because apparently, uh... Let's see, this one you have to type in Ying Zhu. Attention all you CC jellyfish! There's a baby holding high out for the Phoenix School softball team to ball at noon! And these did not apply! Ying Zhu, as in Shun Zhu. Sun Zhu. The art of war. Like this. I guess they're, um, these names, Magan and Ying Zhu, are, were employees of Insomniac. We'll be taken away to the museum again, but we can play another minigame. Bombs away! Oh, it's like Bomberman! So, that was an enemy, that was Quark, and this guy is... That's awesome! It plays like Bomberman! You can lay up to three bombs. If you have a multi-tap, you could play with your friends and family. That is awesome. That is just awesome. Apparently they were fans of Konami. Uh-oh. I uh, need to charge my laptop. All right, there are two more things I need to sh I need to show off and then we're going to end it off. Okay, again with the Cork Vid comic. We'll do the first episode. So this one. Remember um Remember when we first did the fourth comic and after we beat it, Al was like, aren't you going to do any cheat codes? And he it, he pretty much did the Konami code. You can do that code. You, for, you need a blaster, though. So to do that, I have to cheat my way to it. By the way, if you're going to go for the skill point that involves the time, doing stuff like this to speed up. All right. We should be coming across the blaster in just a bit. Okay, where is it? Blaster should be coming up in just a bit. Point timers say a giant robotic space eel haunts this ship. <laughs> what a bunch of movies! Okay, well. Now that we're here, first let me kill these guys before I do it. So, uh, can I do it in peace? Okay, so just do the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. That didn't work for some reason. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. Why is it not working? Am I not doing it right? Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. There we go! I don't know why it was not working the first few times. Look, he's in a tutu! He's all pink and ugly and ballerina-like. 
So yeah, it was an actual cheat that uh, Al told Ratchet that you can do. I actually tried to do this cheat, but I could never remember the sequence, and at the time I had no idea about anything like Konami, so... Alright, so let me get through this, and then uh, I will show off the last thing, which involves another cheat code. Actually, no, I could just quit, but I'd rather beat this while I'm in the 2-2, to be honest. Uh, I don't... I'm not judging you, Quark. I mean, you've cross-dressed before. Don't think there's nothing wrong about a man wearing pink. As long as it's not a woman's outfit. I'm sure the space eel... The space eel doesn't mind either. If I die, I'll just quit and, um... Uh-oh. We have it. And there you have it. So now I'm curious to know. All right, there's one more cheat code we have to input. So, let me see if I can find it on here, if I can. Here we are. So, to get this cheat, there's another way to get this cheat, but to do this, you have to, I believe, pause and then press circle, square, circle, square, up, down, left, left. And you get this. It's a laser sword, and it's something that the enemies use. Despite its appearance, it doesn't really affect gameplay. It has the same range as the Ami Wrench, so it's not too particularly special. Oh, and there's one more thing I should show off. I only have one trophy left, and then this door will open. You gotta find that on Florana. That is on Hollow Star Studios. That, I believe... I, I mean, I am on the Ratchet & Clank wiki, so I can look it up for you. But that one, I believe... Where was this one at? That one is on the Thran Asteroid. And we picked that one up, actually. That is on the Crash Site. That was on Metropolis. That is on Malon, the command center. That is on Dax. That is on Koros, I believe. Yeah, Koros. That is on Terranosis. That's for getting all the titanium bolts. That's for getting all the skill points. That is for maxing out your, man your nanotech to 200. And that is for completing all the Annihilation Nation challenges. That is for doing all the battle missions. I only have one left. And it involves getting all the weapons to Omega. And I only have a few left. So that will do for this episode of Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal. Join me next time as, once I get that last trophy, we'll get to go in there and see what's in there. And go someplace special. Also, I hope I can fix my wrench, because as much as this laser thing's cool, I kind of want my wrench back. So, that is it, and I will see you guys next time.